to all of VGRPM's YouTube channel. This is Gay. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to change the form into read only view using form personalization. I'm going to use Oracle Inventory Item Master screen. So, this screen I'm going to change into read only mode whenever the user uh, opens it for coding the need. So, this form go to personalization. So, right now there is no personalization was created. So, I'm creating a sequence time. Items and message option. So this one I am going to give the option to the user. OK cancel. So that's why I given the message option. So the block we are using the entire system items. Copy that. So the new block instance, the block name we are giving the trigger object and then the context level is can give user or responsibility. So responsibility I am going to give. So right now we are in inventory, vision, ASA. So second one. So this responsibility only this personalization will apply so options so constant so change the type into message option prompt so so this one message type i'm selecting the one so the warning message it will show us okay and cancel so message is do we want to query the item so whenever the form opens, so this message will appear with OK and cancel. So next one is built in. So built in type with one key and the argument is inter query. So we are changing this form into inter query mode whenever the user clicks OK. The form. Let's close it again. So we we'll open the form to change, reflect the change. So see now a caution message will appear. Do you want to query this item? So if you click OK, it will go into the entry query mode. See? So now you can give the values to query the items. Close now. So reopen again. So whenever you are clicking uh, cancel, so the next event got failed. So it is by default it is in entry mode now. So this is how you can handle it by uh, uh, conditionally whether you want to see in the query mode or uh, entry mode. So this will only applicable to the inventory, but also if we go to another responsibility, I could read this one. So this time the message will not appear because that is only applicable to the particular responsibility. So go to personalize. Say now. So this is only applicable to one responsibility. Like that, you can give the user level also. So particular business user if you want to restrict it, you can restrict it. So now I am disabling this one. See, it's closing. So there is one more way you can change this form into read only. So you need to find out that uh, form name. So either you can find out by using this file name, or else you can personalize also. You can find out the top set. 
so go to sesame application function so query with imb underscore value so this is the actual function for that form so here you see there is a parameter section so in this place we can give one more value query underscore only equal to yes so this will make the oracle form standard form into read only mode say close the form inventory so now opening the item master see now right now it is by default it is in enter query so this is another thing you can achieve through tc form personalization thanks for watching see you in the next video